you mentioned and, and promote the fact that you have found 22 ways to make money from a podcast. Can you, yeah. can you divulge some of those? Of course. Networks only listen to your first episode. So when you send your podcast into iTunes, Spotify, they only listen to episode 000, which is Tech Talk. It's really episode one, but it's a three to five episode, which explains what's coming up in a show, who's coming up, what's going to be about. And the platform listens to it because they want to see if it will bring an audience to their platform, which is all they care about, right? So we teach that. And if you've got that, you've got your first monetization stream because you can take that episode to an assembler and say, hey, this is the show. It's going to be called Smarter Event Planning. My avatar, my perfect listener is a secretary or a personal assistant or an event who organizes events. And she's looking for tips, tips tools, tricks, technologies that can make her life easier working mm -hmm. smarter not harder there that's the whole concept that's my episode one assembler says oh actually that's the perfect market for us yes but i said great who would you like to get in front of who can't you get into a meet and they say oh that's interesting how does that work and i said well you will get on the show and then it's very easy for me to say oh and our co-host is david from assembler boom now i've got a second revenue stream not only is he yeah. my sponsor but he's my show then I might say to him, you know, David, I'm also going to have 10 quick fire questions. And what I'd like is for you to sponsor one of those questions. So I use the uh, assembler form to organize all my events. Well, that's a sponsored question. I happen to use Canvas Planner when I'm organizing all my collaborative tools. That's yep. a sponsor. I don't have to say that, which again is a benefit. I don't have to go, the following question is sponsored by Canvas Planner. <laughs> no, so I've now got three ways to profit from my podcast. And I haven't even talked advertising yet or yep. listenership. I, I've, had a, um, I've had a video go viral on YouTube, hit a million. I thought, this is it, big money coming in. My check was 1,088 pounds. And that's because mm. it was predominantly America-based, which is where all the money in YouTube comes from. I've had 1,000 listeners from a podcast and made uh, 38,000 pounds. Because all I did is I took 1,000 people and I sold them my book and they all went out and bought the book. So that's my next revenue is have a product. It doesn't have to be a physical product. My first book was a, an ebook. Just they paid nine nine nine. It was sent across to them, and there it was. And and just on that point, if you are uh, if you are a company listening to this and you're thinking, well, well, actually, my intention is to do more lead generation, then that point still stands, right? Because you could oh. create content, downloadable content, which is connected to the topic and subject matter and helpful to that that audience member, and say, listen, we've we've got this free guide, this free book here. Give us your name and email address and a, a few a few details. That is another way to monetize your revenue stream because then you can you can um, nurture in your marketing funnel that that contact and and Correct. hopefully make them into a, a a paying customer later on the line, which may have a you know you might be a tech company with a hundred grand license fee out or something. So that that one person is worth a hundred grand to you, kind of thing. So that, yeah, even, even if it's free, you can you can still make that pay, right? 